everyone. I feel like it has been so long since I've sat down and talked to the camera, but I'm super excited to be sharing all of my favorites from the past month with you guys today in this video. And I do have a lot to get through, so I just want to go ahead and jump right into this. And I'm first going to talk about um, favorite eyeshadows that I've been wearing because I have been in love with so many of these. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is the one that I'm wearing on my eyes today. And it is the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Eyeshadow Palette. And I picked this up, I think, two months ago or something like that. And I have just been in love with all of these colors. These are so perfect for fall. And I just absolutely love the concept of this. This basically gives you 15 eyeshadows. All of them are matte except for this one down here, which you can put over any of these shadows and make them a little bit shimmery. So that's really nice because you basically get double the amount of eyeshadows by being able to have this shade to put over them. If you'd like to see a tutorial using this palette, I would absolutely love to do that for you. So just let me know, but I absolutely love this. I think this is just the perfect palette for fall. The next one I want to talk about is another eyeshadow palette, and it is the Lorac Pro 2 palette. I do own the first palette, and I was in love with that one. That palette is seriously amazing, and I think this one is even better. I'm sure you guys have seen this palette, but if you haven't, here's what it is. It comes with, I think, 16? Yes. <laughs> 16 eyeshadows. All of the top row eyeshadows are matte, and all of these are shimmery. And as you can tell, I've been kind of playing with all of them. Um, I haven't really dug into these yet, which I'm really excited to experiment with those. But I absolutely love this jade green and this plum color. Those are beautiful. And of course, one of my favorite colors in this entire palette is this rosé color, which is just a rose gold. I think this is just really beautiful. This is also another great palette for fall. I mean, look at these colors. They are just to die for. And the pigmentation of these is, oh my gosh, you will not regret it if you... Um, are looking for a new eyeshadow palette to get. So if you guys like to see swatches of these or anything, let me know and I can definitely do that. Um, I do have a blog that I'm kind of starting to post on more and if you guys like to see that, I will definitely post pictures on there of swatches so you guys can see what all those look like. Next, I'm going to be talking about a new brand that I actually haven't mentioned on my channel before, but I am blown away from all of their products. I've been using them for over a month now and I am honestly very impressed. Um, so the first thing that I want to talk about is this DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. This is very similar to the Bosha Cleansing Oil, I think it's called. And I actually prefer this one over the Bosha one. And that's kind of surprising to me. And you think it's an oil, so you think it's going to be really slippery and it's going to be hard to get off your face because water just um, like runs off of it. No, this stuff will take off all of your makeup. It is super, super gentle. This brand is all about an olive oil based um, skincare system and they also have makeup as well. But I honestly am in love with this and I've been using this a lot and that is all that is gone. Honestly, you just need the tiniest bit. I don't even use a full pump of this to get off my makeup um, because it is it works so well. Um, I basically have been using this at night to take off my makeup and I just find it really relaxing and it just, I don't know, there's something about it that I'm just blown away with and like I said, I prefer this one over the Bosha one. Another product from that same brand that I've been absolutely obsessed with is the DHC BB Cream. Now, I'm one of these people that honestly has never jumped on the BB cream bandwagon and I tried BB creams before and I was just not a fan. But this has completely changed how I view BB creams and I just, I guess I was just using the wrong ones. Um, but this one is incredible. This is just the perfect BB cream. It is so natural looking. It gives you not a dewy look, but it just gives you like a nice glow to your skin. It's not matte. Um, and like I said, it's not oily looking or anything like that. It just gives you a really natural glow. And this is in the shade Natural Ochre in the color 01. So this is the lightest shade, I'm pretty sure. But this also has um, very good products in it and it does have sunscreen in it. It has SPF 20 in it. So if you guys are going to be outside at all, I would definitely recommend this. And it does come with a pump, so you just squirt it out on your hand or whatever, and then you can just dab it on your face. Or you could just squirt it in your hands and just rub it on your face, but I prefer to use a brush, so that's really, really nice. And like I said, I've just absolutely been loving these. 
The last product from that brand I'm going to mention is a liquid eyeliner. And if you guys have followed my channel at all, I've been obsessed with the Kat Von D Ink It Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper. And honestly, this one is better. So I can't even believe I'm saying that because I, I just absolutely love that eyeliner. And no, I'm not sponsored by this DHC brand. Um, they sent me these products to review and I'm just giving my honest opinion. I would tell you if I didn't like a product or I just wouldn't even mention them, but honestly, I'm in love with this stuff. So, this is the DHC Liquid Eyeliner EX Perfect Pro Makeup and this is in the color black. Um, this makeup brand is based in Japan, I believe, but they do have an office in San Francisco. So if you guys are looking to order anything, you can definitely check out their website because they are here in the US. Um, but this eyeliner... Once you put it on, it does not come off. I have a hard time if you mess up. It's hard to even like wipe it off because it just, it stays so long all day. Um, it wears really well. And by the end of the night, my eyeliner looks like it hasn't even been touched. Like it looks like I just put it on. So I would definitely recommend this. It is a felt tip eyeliner. So it looks like that. And I won't even be able to get this swatch off later because that's how good it is. Um, but it's super easy. The felt tip is super soft and easy to work with and I'm just in love with this eyeliner, honestly. So if you guys are looking for something new to try, I would definitely check out this DHC liner. Next, I want to talk about something that has honestly changed my life. That may sound weird and crazy, but honestly it has. And I just did a video on this. My last video was actually about this. It is, it is the teeth whitening kit that I have been using. And this is from Smile Sciences. And as you guys can tell, my teeth are pretty white. I drink coffee almost every day. I've just been looking for an affordable at-home teeth whitening kit for so long. And I am so excited that I finally got this. I've been using this over for the last month. And... I just love it. I typically use it once a week or I started to use it once a week and now I'm kind of waiting two or three weeks between times because I've kind of gotten to the place where I'm really happy with the and result. One that I have is the Sweet Teeth um, Teeth Whitening Kit and I don't want to talk about this too much because I made an entire video on this. So if you guys are interested in learning more about this then I will leave that video linked down below in the description box but um, I do have a coupon code for that if you want. Um, you can get it for $29. Just use the coupon code dash kit and you can get a huge discount on that. Next, I just want to quickly mention my favorite blush of the month. I am wearing it today and I have had this blush for so long. This is honestly, I think this is my first MAC blush I ever purchased. Um, but it is Gingerly from MAC. And this is just a really pretty terracotta color. Um, I think it's perfect for the fall. I didn't really wear this much in the summer, but for the fall time, I think this is just absolutely perfect. It just gives you like a nice warm fall-esque glow if that makes any sense but this blush is just really beautiful it's just sort of like a red brown color and you can't really see it blushes are hard to swatch um but it's just a really beautiful red brown color and I just absolutely love the formulation of MAC blushes um it is a sheer tone blush so it's not going to be overly strong looking or what am I trying to say it's not going to be an intense blush is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I just really love this. I've had this for, I think, three years or something like that. And I always bring this out in the fall. This is always one of my favorites. The last sort of category I want to talk about is lips. Obviously, if you guys have been following me, I don't tend to wear any sort of lip color other than nude or a light pink. But recently, I've just totally embraced wearing the dark lip. And I've just absolutely been in love with it. I think that I've finally been okay with wearing dark lips. I've just been really hesitant just because of my hair color. Um, but I do have a few products to share with you. So what first kind of got me to try the whole bold lip is this Milani lipstick in Sangria. And I did post a picture of me wearing this on my Instagram. So if you guys are interested in seeing what this looks like on, then I will leave my Instagram um, linked in the down bar as well as my username right here, which is the same as my username on YouTube, which is Dashing Makeup. But it's just a really beautiful berry sort of purple. And I just tried this out one day and I thought it looked really cool on. Ever since then, I've just been continuing to buy new lipsticks that I'm in love with. And if you guys would like to see swatches of these, like I said, you can check my Instagram or, or check on my blog. I will definitely make a blog post about these so you guys can see all of these swatched. Then I also want to give a shout out to Style Haul and Smashbox Cosmetics. I entered the Tuesday treat 
in the Style Haul giveaway, and every week they partner up with a different brand, and they just basically give away free stuff. And I actually won, which is crazy because I never win anything. And I was extremely excited because I won four Smashbox products and I will be sharing with you two of them. The first one is this Smashbox Lip Lacquer and this is in the color Beat It. This is just a really pretty berry toned sort of dark lip. And I believe I have an Instagram post about this too. So if you guys are interested, just check my Instagram. I take a lot of pictures. They also sent me this Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner, and this is in the color Violet. So like I said, I will swatch these on my blog, but this is what this looks like. And these are really nice because they just sharpen themselves, so there's really nothing to it. Like, all you have to do is just apply it, and the next time you pull it out, it's already sharpened. I am just in love, honestly, with this lip color. I was really scared when I first got this because I was like, this is going to be so dark. It's going to look horrible on me. No totally obsessed. This stuff is so long wearing. It stains your lips so it lasts basically all day and it's really hydrating too because it's a lacquer so it's not a matte or anything like that and it's not a gloss so it's not sticky. This is just honestly like the perfect thing. Yeah after I received this in the mail I definitely went out and bought more of these because I became obsessed with these almost immediately. So I have more of these now and I'm really, really excited and I'm so thankful to have gotten these and received them for free because otherwise I might not have even tried them. Um, but yeah, anyways, I just want to say thank you to them. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked seeing my favorites for this month and want me to continue doing these. Um, if you guys are also loving any of these products, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on them. Or if you have any other favorites, make sure you let me know so I can go check those out. If you aren't already subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button so you can watch more of my videos when I post them. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.